Yes, yeah, yeah. I think what we're on the cusp of is, are we worried about the journey or the end destination? I'm worried about the journey. If I'm worried about the journey, plan, best efforts, I mean, the destination will take care of itself. Okay, yes? It's surprising how many times a child will come off the field and know that they lost, but if their team gave their best effort, they really don't care. They really don't. The kids don't care? They, they really don't. I mean, there's many times where they'll walk off the field and go, you know what? We gave all that we could or that on, on to this day and that we feel like we played well. We, we don't care that we lost. I, I, before you do, since I'm the trainer, I get to talk whenever I want. Um, I just coached a team of kids, and when they lost, they were terribly disappointed. They did care a lot. And I know some kids, some kids walk off the field, and it's, it's over before it's, I mean, before you, they even run through the tunnel or whatever. Do you guys do the tunnel? Okay. Um, my experience is that for some kids, they care a lot, and uh, that they really don't like losing, and it bothers them. And uh, I feel part of my job as a sports parent, and part of my job as a coach, is to get them to see that um, the scoreboard only tells part of the story. What you guys are saying, the scoreboard only tells part of the story. And I want them, like you, I want them to walk off the field holding their head high, feeling proud, no matter what the scoreboard says, as long as they showed teamwork, they gave a, a strong effort, they treated our referee, is our referee gone? They treated yes. our referee with respect, even when the referee got it wrong, because the referee will get it wrong some, sometime this season. Peter, your turn. Uh, I think you sort of covered it, but uh, I'll just touch on the, um, one of the things I found when you was doing U10 boys, and actually I think that was a year I started playing as an adult again, so I was learning to make mistakes, and uh, actually it was kind of interesting because I was playing on this adult team, and I played for a while, and I had 10 people tell me what to do, and they're all telling me different things, and, and the other thing I remember about it is I played, and we played a lot, I really enjoyed playing, but at the end of the game I didn't know what the score was, and so I thought to myself, I'm going to go ask these guys what the score is after a game. So what I realized was they didn't necessarily know what the score was, but they knew if they played bad, they knew if they played really well. Um, let's see, what is there? <laughs> there should be another one there. But they, they definitely recognized those two things. They didn't necessarily know what the score was, because when I asked them, and this was a competitive game, the score was all over the map. They didn't know if we won or lost, but it was like 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, whatever. And from that, I learned that I don't think the kids generally care if they win or lose, they care how well they play. Those kids that do care, they tend to care because their parents care. That's what I believe. Okay. Yeah, a couple more we're going to move forward. She's scratching her head, you're raising your hand. You know, I um, I have a son that played this sport for the first time last year, and we are, like, put no pressure on him whatsoever. This is his first time playing, and he really was bothered when he lost, and we didn't care at all. But their team kept losing and kept losing. And kept losing, and they lost like every game but one game. And so I think that sometimes the kids do care, even when the parents don't. So, what do you think is the best way to promote that? Is it you know, obviously throughout the game we're supporting them, and, or after? It, but I, I think it is the parents and the coaches that help the children feel confidence from that. Does that make sense? Yes, it totally makes sense. Um, okay, so you you have not rated winning very high on your goal priorities, but your child is upset when they lose a game. Okay, you're either the coach or the parent. How can you help your child get over that or look at it differently? I'm asking the same question yeah. she is. I mean, I enjoyed okay? watching you play. Was one thing that I learned is the best thing to say is I really enjoyed watching you play. Or I really enjoyed you know being there with you. Or, Okay. Um, when I coached last year and if our team lost, we would always go over all the things that they learned and did better at during the game that we worked on in practice. As a coach, you would do that? Yes. So go if over they, the things they learned and improved on. In okay. practice, if they applied what we taught them in practice at, in their game and we saw them doing it, even if they lost, we, we focused on that and they always went away feeling good. 
Okay, so that's what you talk about when they lost, and what about when they won? Okay, so win or lose, as a coach or a parent, you're talking about the same things. Okay, and um, so it's not enough just to talk about trying hard when, when your child's team loses. It's just as important to emphasize that and sportsmanship and being a good teammate and being coachable, even when they, they win. Yes, hand it back there. I have really bad kids because they always know the score and they are always disappointed when they lose. Yeah. Now, yeah. what's interesting is that last year, my, I have kids at multiple levels in the club, and my kids at the, my, my son at the highest level in the playoffs for a tournament weekend, they let two goals go the whole weekend. Unfortunately, it was in the last game that we won. He and his friends bawled their eyes out the whole way home. The way we dealt with